Take a practice quiz on this topic and download hundreds of free math worksheets at mathcation.com. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. This time we're going to be learning about subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. Now when we subtract fractions with unlike denominators, the first thing we have to do is we have to find the least common multiple of the denominators. So quick refresher, in a fraction you have a numerator and then the fraction bar and then you have a denominator. Now we have to find the least common multiple, which means it's the multiple that is the smallest for both denominators in the problem. What we're gonna do is multiply the fractions so that the denominators will be the least common multiple. Typically the easiest way to do this is to take the denominator and list all of the multiples of that denominator. Let's say the denominator is five. So we would take the five and we would list all the multiples. So for like five, 10, 15, 20, and so on. And we would do that until we got a match with the other denominator. The second step to subtracting fractions with unlike denominators is to multiply them so that they will have whatever the least common multiple is in the denominator for both fractions. And we're gonna do three practice problems, so you'll have plenty examples of that. And then finally, once they have the same denominator, then you can subtract. So the whole reason for doing all of this is because the denominators have to be equal like let's say five, if they're not the same, like if one is two and one is five, then you cannot subtract them. They have to be equal. So that's the reason for doing all of the steps that we mentioned previously is because they have to have the same denominator. Once you have the same denominator, you can subtract and you can reduce if possible. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. All right, so let's get to work and get started on some practice problems on subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. The first problem here gives us 3 fourths minus 1 third. Now, in order to subtract these, the denominators have to be equal. So you can see our denominator on this side is 4 and the denominator on this side is 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the denominator in 3 fourths, which in this case is 4, and I'm going to list all of the multiples of 4. So we'll start with 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, then we'll say 4 times 3 is 12, then we have 16, and then we have 20. So I'll just list out 5 to start with. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the denominator in one third, which is three. So I'm gonna say three. Okay, so we got three times one, three times two is six, three times three is nine, three times four is 12, okay? And I can stop here because I have a multiple that matches four and three. So our least common multiple is gonna be 12. So that means we need to change the denominator into 12 for both of these fractions. So in order to do that, I'm going to multiply 3 fourths by 3 because I need to change this 4 into a 12. And 4 times 3 is 12. So I'm going to do the same thing to the top. So I'm going to multiply by 3 over 3. So we're going to do numerator 3 times 3 is 9. And then denominator 3 times 4 is 12. So all I did is I took this fraction, multiplied top and bottom by 3. And then on this side, we have to multiply 3, we have to multiply times 4 because 3 times 4 is 12 and we need a 12 in the denominator. So 3 times 4, like I said, is 12 and then 1 times 4 is 4. So now that the denominators are equal, we can go ahead and keep the denominator the same and subtract the numerators. So I know that we're gonna subtract nine minus four in the numerator, and we're gonna get five, and then we're gonna keep the denominator the same, which is 12. So nine twelfths now minus four twelfths is gonna be five over 12 or five twelfths. And then you have to check to see if you can reduce this. In this case, nothing goes into five or 12 evenly, so that's gonna be our solution. So 3 fourths minus 1 third is equal to 5 twelfths. Moving on to the second problem, this problem gives us 1 half minus 1 seventh. So again, we have to subtract these. And in order to do that, we need to have a denominator that is equal for both fractions. So we need to find the least common multiple. So we're gonna take the multiples of our first denominator, in this case is two, and I'm gonna list them. So we got two, four, 
6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. We'll go out to 16. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other denominator, which is 7. So we're going to go 7. So we're going to go 7, 14. And in this case, we only have to do twice because you'll notice that we have a 14 here and a 14 here. So our least common multiple is going to be 14. So I need to change the denominators for 1 half and the denominator for 1 seventh into a 14. So this 2 has to become a 14, the 7 has to become a 14. So I'm going to multiply this fraction times 7 because 2 times 7 is 14. And I'm going to do the same to the top. So I'm going to do times 7. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to do times 7. So 1 times 7 is 7. And then 2 times 7 is 14. And then over here, we have to make this 7 into a 14. So we're going to multiply times 2 because 7 times 2 is 14. So the numerator, we're going to do 1 times 2 and get 2. The denominator, we're going to do 7 times 2 and we're going to get 14. So now that they have the same denominator, which is 14, we can go ahead and subtract the numerator. So we're going to do 7 minus 2, which is 5. And then we keep the denominator the same, which is 14. So our solution is going to be 5 over 14. Nothing goes into 5 and 14 evenly, so we can't reduce it. So that means our final solution is 5 fourteenths. And finally, our last practice problem for subtracting fractions with unlike denominators gives us 2 fifths minus 1 third. Now again, in order to subtract these, they have to have the same denominator. So I'm going to take first denominator, which is 5. And I'm going to list all the multiples of that. So 5, 10, 15, 20, let's say. And I'm going to do the same thing for 3. So we got 3. We're going to go 3, 6, 9, 12. And I'm going to stop at 15 because when I get to 15, I will notice that the least common multiple for both 5 and 3 is 15. So that means I have to change this 5 into a 15. So I need to multiply times 3. I need to do the same thing to the numerator to keep them proportional. And then on 1 third, I'm going to multiply, I have to change this 3 into a 15, so I'm going to multiply times 5, and then the same thing for the numerator times 5. So on the 2 fifths, we're going to do 3 times 2 in the numerator and get 6, and then 3 times 5 in the denominator and get 15. And then on 1 third, we're going to do 1 times 5 in the numerator, which is 5, and then 3 times 5 in the denominator, which is 15. Now that the denominators are equal, we can go ahead and subtract the numerators and keep the denominators. So 6 minus 5 is 1, and then you keep the denominator of 15 the same. Now you can check to see if you can reduce. In this case, nothing will go into 1 or 15. So 2 fifths minus 1 third is going to be equal to 1 fifteenths. And if you want to do some more practice on solving a shit. And if you want to do and if you want to do some more practice on subtracting fractions with different denominators, go ahead and click the link in the video. Two fifths minus one third is going to be equal to one fifteenth. And if you want to do some more practice on subtracting fractions with different denominators, go ahead and click the link in the top right corner of your screen to do some practice questions that will grade themselves and tell you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!